Hey everybody, it's John Ziemba here, and on this video, what we're going to walk through is how to create a digital business card. So we're going to start off in design. So in order to get there, we're going to log into command. We're going to click on the KW in the top left-hand corner, and we're going to uh, click on the designs applet. Once we're here, we're going to simply click on the plus sign in the bottom right-hand corner. And what this does is it allows us to choose which type of piece we're looking for. And because we're basing this on an actual business card, we're actually going to choose the print option and then click next. Once we're here, what we should do to start off is to click on the library here. This will make everything easier as we can upload our own logos for our specific market centers our personal headshots, and even put in our uh, details that are commonly used. You also have the option of creating a brand kit for yourself that will be um, have the colors and the fonts that you typically use, and fill in some different text here that uh, can be used on different marketing pieces. Okay. Once we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the left hand side and we're going to click on business basics and when we click on business basics on the left hand side we see that we have business cards and that number 16 has to do with how many um, mar different marketing pieces are in this collection here so what you'll see is I have four portrait card four portrait business cards and I also have another tab up here that says business cards that I can click on so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use uh, this gray one here because that's the one I'm the most comfortable with right now. Now keep in mind what I'm doing is I'm creating a digital business card. So I want to make a picture that I'm sending to someone usually typically via text. And I don't necessarily need all the information on my business card that that would be the same as I would hand somebody. So I may or may not need my address. I may or may not need my license number. I know this is dependent upon the state you live in. Okay, so in, in this case, because I'm just typically sending this to somebody that I've just met and I want them to remember me, I'm just going to make a little bit of um, alterations here. So the first thing I do is anytime I click on a picture, and you can see how the picture is selected, when I come over to the left side and I happen to be on my images, if I hover over it and I click on the replace image, I can easily replace that image here. Okay. Now, for this example, what I'm actually going to do is instead of having somebody type this in here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend the red all the way over like this. And I'm, and I'm actually going to, to delete the items that I can here. Because what I want them to do is I really want them to ask me about this. Because it's going to be different um, for them to, if I'm sending this digitally, it's going to be different for them to have to remember to type in all that uh, text there. So one thing, anytime you need to edit text, if you select the text and you scroll up to the top, you have this typewriter option. So what I'm going to put is I'm going to put ask me about my, my app. Okay. I'm just going to put there, and that's going to be my call to action. Now, if I want to make the text bigger, I can just simply you know, make the text box bigger, or I can come up to the text size when I've selected it here, and I can select the size. So let me just see what happens if I select 18, right? So that's going to be at the bottom of my digital business card, okay? Now, some of you may have different restrictions on your specific area. So in Illinois, we have a size restriction now. So what I'm coming is, I, if you've added the logos um, in the library, I can just simply come over here, select the logo, and I can hit replace logo, and I can make the logo um, to the position that I want and the size that I needed, okay? I do notice with one thing with this option here is that I have um, to make the realtor a little bit bigger to get it in line there. Now, I can simply edit my first name and last name, but again, I have to pay attention to the size rest restrictions here. I look like I'm pretty close. So I'm going to hit Save Changes. Okay. And now I can do the same option here where I can edit the individual text as needed. 
Now what I want to do on my particular thing is I really just want them to know my phone number and my email address in, in as big of text as I want because I want that to stick out. Okay, so what I can do is I can just come through, I can delete all this, and I can just do my email address and my phone number. Okay, even though typically when I'm texting this to somebody, right, uh, they're already going to be having my phone number, I like to, um, you know, just have that in there to be a little bit bigger. But I want to make this as big as possible because I'm not under size restrictions for this. See, let's see how does 42 do here. And I'm also going to make the text white, okay, in this case. So my text is a little bit big. I'm going to just keep downsizing it and see how 18 looks. And I can stretch that out and put it something like this, okay. Now, one thing you'll notice about the pictures sometimes is that you have the option to be able to resize and move the pictures as you need simply by clicking on the picture because there was an initial a window that was that was chosen of what they call a frame so you can see that I can move myself in the frame as needed okay if I'm going to continue to use that frame now what I notice is that I don't like my my uh, where I'm getting cut off at so what I can do is I'm just going to move this line over a little bit because it's for style is I can add shapes in or I can add drawings in this case I'm going to do a drawing so I'm just going to take my line right here Again, I'm just going to click somewhere up here above the business card here, and I'm going to click on drawing, and I'm going to use the line function. So I can just, if I hold the shift key down, it becomes straight, and I'm just going to simply put a line there. Okay? I can click on that line, and I can change the fill color. So I'm going to change it to white in this case. So I can change the fill color, but then there's also a border, and that's called the stroke color. I can also eliminate that border if I move the stroke to zero. Okay, in this case, because the line is so thin there, it's a little bit large like that. So now I have a line there, so it makes a nice um, border for myself. I can do the same option as the bottom, because again, I don't like to be cut off. So in this case, I'm just going to use a shape instead, so just a different, another way to do it. So I just come over here, click on shapes, and you can see it's put one here. So I did this twice. It put it actually in the center of my um, my piece here. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm j I can just make make the line. This is just an alternative way to do that. I can make it as thin as I need it, and then I can just move it simply up, right? So that gives me an easy way to do it. And again. If I have, if there's a border around it, that's going to be the stroke color, and um, it's also going to be the, the stroke uh, thickness here. Not that I'm using it on this, but there is an op opacity setting here, which would allow me to do different items. Now, let's say I want to make a custom background here. So what I find is sometimes backgrounds are hard to deal with. So specifically on this one, when I'm clicking the background, I really don't have the ability to edit it easily. But let's say I want a different color background. So what I'm going to do is, and I notice that this is bothering me, so I'm just going to make this up a little bit bigger and I can pull this down, right, so that the line is full. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a shape. This, this happens to be white. I'm actually going to make it black here. And I'm just going to add this as my background. So again, you see I'm just doing just um, making it now what you'll notice is I actually have a white stroke here so I can either make the stroke black which is the easiest option or I could um, make it smaller so now I'm just basically what I'm doing is I'm making my background black but now this background is on top of everything so if I take this background right here I've selected the background which you can tell by where it's chosen and I come over to the arrange option I will have the option to just keep sending it backwards as needed and as I keep clicking send backward you will notice more and the more more and more options keep popping up up ahead of it so now that I have the complete business card uh, popping in front of it occasionally I may have my photo that is sh um, showing the wrong way so typically I wouldn't want to put my photo that is facing this way on this business card because I want to look 
um, to the, in this case, I want to look to the right. So there is this option here that is called transform. And that will allow you to flip images as needed. Okay, so I'm just pointing that out there. So as you need it, you can flip the image um, so that it's not, uh, it's, you're not looking the wrong way on this. Okay, anytime I need to delete something, I can just click on it and it usually adds a placeholder and I can delete the placeholder. Once I am done with this digital business card, all I need to do is come up to the top and click download and that will download the business card for me. What I want to do before that, just in case, because sometimes I find that I go to download stuff and I forget to save it, so I can just put, you know, uh, my business card and I like to put a date on there just so that I know. And I can come over here and click on File, Save, even though it may auto-save. I just like to do that as a separate option. So I click Download. And usually I have to do a JPEG is fine. I do, once in a while I need to use PNG, but for the most part I'm just using the JPEG. Oops. And then what you'll notice is it will download here, and I can click Open. And you will see this is the business card that I just created. Now, practically what I would do is I would email this to myself. Once I would email it to myself, I would just save it as a photo on my phone, and then I have the ability to easily text it to somebody. It's just something that's a little bit different. It can potentially keep you in, the, in, in front of mind. And when you first meet something, it's just something different than whatever people are doing and handing out a business card. You can also... You know, offer to do this for your vendors. I think this is a very um, cool thing to do for vendors. It doesn't cost you a lot of money. It doesn't take you a lot of time. You can be very specific about the information you need. You can create a digital business card for them, and I think they will all appreciate that. So that is the full process on how to create a digital business card for yourself.